come to glorify him. I come to lift him up. Him up. I come to lift him up. Him up. I don't know what you come to do. 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 Oh, I come to lift him up. Him up. I come to lift him up. Him up. I come to clap my hands. I come to clap my hands. My hand. 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 I come to do my dance. 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 My hand. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, is well in our praise this morning, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name. Sing your power, Lord, to Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Where my worshipers at? Hallelujah. Come on, we come to worship the Lord. He dwells in our praise. Hallelujah, but our God seeks a worship of this morning. Hallelujah, we worship you, Lord God. Hallelujah, we worship you, Lord. We worship you in the beauty of holiness. Hallelujah, why don't you lift your hands? Hallelujah. Come on, we worship a holy God. Hallelujah, he's better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we worship you for that this morning, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's set this atmosphere. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee. Oh Lord, come on and help me sing. I will bless you. Oh I will Lord. bless you. Oh Lord. Lord, I will bless you. Oh Lord, with the heart, with, with the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless you. Oh Lord, come on, I will bless you. Oh Lord. Time. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Hallelujah. With the heart of thanksgiving, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, with my hands lifted up. With my hands lifted up. Yes. And my mouth filled with praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory with the heart of thanksgiving. Yes. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Come on with my hands lifted up. Oh, with my hands lifted up. Hallelujah. Filled with praise, hallelujah, with the heart of thanksgiving, I will 
bless thee, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O oh Lord. To 
stand upon the mountain to magnify his name to tell all the people of every nation that he reigns Zion is calling me Let's give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh. oh, oh. Good morning, Judah Worship Center. On behalf of our pastor, Demetrius Beecham, and our elect lady, Vicki Beecham, we would like to welcome you to our morning worship services. This is the month of November. Our theme for the month is, Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 2 verse 38. Our core value for the month is worship. Worship is more than a song, a shout or a feeling. True worship is daily communion with God in the heart, expressed outwardly through an honorable lifestyle of holiness, privately and publicly. John 4 verse 23 and 24 Each week we are meeting on our conference call line for 5 a.m. prayer. Additionally, prayer service takes place here in the Judah Worship Center Sanctuary at 7 p.m. on Tuesday evening and on Thursday evening. On Wednesday evening at 7 p.m., we meet here for our Word and Worship service. Judah Worship Center, let's stay connected. Now is the time for you to take out your mobile device. Follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And share this morning's worship service with your friends. If you have not done so, pick up a monthly calendar outside in the vestibule at the welcome desk. And at this time, please join me in giving our first time visitors a round of applause as we welcome them to the Judah Worship Center. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord one more time? Let's give God a hand, praise. Let's give God a hand, praise. Not me. Let's give God a hand, praise. Because he's been so good. At this time, we're up to our tide, amen. A tide is no more than 10% of your growth income, amen. If you need a tide number, could you please raise your hands up, and the usher will assist you at this time. Make sure that on the tide in them low that you write your name legibly and the amount that you're tithing to the kingdom. Amen. Your tithing will not go on and bump. Amen. For the one that's tuning in, that's screaming loud, we thank you for tuning in at this time. And we thank you for your generous giving. Um, your tithes and offering has not been gone in vain. It helped to continue the building of the kingdom. Um, we have the uh, app um, address on the screen. Amen. It's your senior app in. Amen. And for the one that's um, doing credit, we have Sister Williams and Sister Jasmine in the back of the real sanctuary where they can swipe your card. Amen. 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 So we give this tidy in your hand. God said, God loves you, she'll forgive you. And God only asks for 10% of what he has given you. Amen. God has blessed you. He said, you just give him 10%. God can do more.
more with less than we can ever imagine. Amen? That he can do more with less than we can ever imagine. Thank God for his general gift. That's the name. He is worthy to praise and adore. Once you have your tie on the envelopes, could you make yourself available to one of the aisles here? Come on, put those hands together and give God a hand, praise. Come on, put those hands together and give God a hand, praise. Come on, put those hands together and give God a hand, praise. Come on, put those hands together and give God a hand, praise. Come on, put those hands together and give God a hand, praise. Come on, put
and your tender mercy God we thank you for your grace thank you for your love thank you for your peace thank you for your deliverance your healing power 
Oh God, you're so good to us. You are better to us than we are to ourselves. God, we thank you for your word today. Your word of healing and deliverance. I thank you for the ones that are watching by the way of Facebook Live. And thank you for the ones that are in the sanctuary this morning. Covers their hearts, their minds, their souls. And God, before this message, you get the praise. In the message, all the praise. After the message, all the praise and all the honor. In Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands real fast. Come on, clap them real fast. Come on. Come on, clap your hands. Praise Him. Praise Him. Come on, church. Praise Everybody. Praise Him. Praise Him. Jesus. Bless His name. He's worthy. He's worthy. Everybody, praise Him. Lift your voice. Praise Him. Oh, yes. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise him. Jesus. Jesus. Bless His name. Bless His name. He's worthy to be praised. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Everybody, praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Jesus. Jesus. Bless the Savior. Bless the Savior. He's worthy. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. 
take two verses. Let's take two verses out of Acts chapter 16. And I thank God for Brother Rodney and Nika coming to the house and helping my wife out. We sure love y'all. And who that lady still shouting on that cane over there? That's who? See, still? She's shouting with the cane. Let her shout. Oh! Woo! Go ahead. Bibles quickly, amen. I won't be for long. Hallelujah. I thank you. Acts 16, quickly. Chapter number 16, and a couple of verses here. Hallelujah. 16 and verse 25 and 26. If you have it, say amen. I want you to see this text, amen, on this noontime hour to strengthen your hearts, strengthen your minds, amen. What the Lord has done for us, amen, no one else can do this, amen. Nobody else can settle you like the Lord. Nobody else can heal you. Nobody can deliver you like he can. And nobody can grant you the peace like our Father. Is that right, somebody? Yeah. Amen. So in the word, I'm going to show you three things in the word, amen, that would help clarify, amen, my little small argument on today. Acts 16 and verse 25. Read it, Ella Gardner. What does it say? And at midnight, uh -huh. Paul and Silas prayed, prayed uh -huh. and sang praises unto God. Sang praises unto God. And uh -huh. the prisoners heard them. Uh -huh. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. Read on. So that the foundation of the prison was shaken. Uh -huh. And immediately all the doors were opened. All the doors were open. And everyone's bands were loose. Everyone's bands were loose. Did you say that, that your Bible said the same? Yes, sir. I want you to take interest in the, the latter part of verse number 26. And immediately all the doors were open. Yes, sir. And immediately all the doors were open. 
And I speak this prophetically to somebody. And for those who can receive this, you receive it by rejoicing and clapping your hands. Uh, immediately, all the doors shall be open. I dare about five people, my God, who receive that right now. Prophetically, I'm speaking doors to be open in your life. Maybe I ain't got a witness on that side. Maybe I can speak to somebody over here. I prophetically speak that the doors uh, shall be open. I ain't talking about old, old doors. I'm, I'm talking about new opportunities. Greater promotion. All the doors shall be open um, in your life. Those who receive it and receive it with joy. Just begin to give God some praise right there. Come on, you praise him without the music. Praise him without the praise team. Praise him without somebody ushering you. My God, you're praising God in advance. You don't know how God's going to do it. You don't know how God's going to open that thing up. But you're praising God. My God said, God, I trust you. I believe you that you're going to do it. You're going to open the door. I want to show you something, Sister Tape, in the Word, my God. And just give me about a good 12 minutes, my God, or, or 10 this morning, this afternoon time now. I want to let you know, Brother Rodney, that before doors become open, you have to go through a great warfare. You have to go through some type of test, some type of uh, 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 a test that will come, a trial that will come to you to try to divert or divert your attention from the word of the Lord. Here is Paul here. Paul was going, Paul and Silas, as they was going, my God, uh, uh, to complete a mission. The Bible says here that a young lady, a young girl in verse number 16, uh, who was possessed with a spirit of divination, met them and brought much alms or uh, money to their masters. My God, the Bible says that Paul, she followed Paul crying, saying, these men are servants of the most high God. Show us unto us the way of salvation. She did this many days. But Paul been grieved. And in his spirit. Turned about and commanded. That the devil come out of this young lady. What grieves me today is that. The saints are not convicted. Of people operating in error. That we have so many people in church. But playing church. We have so many people, my God, that are in the house or in, within the body of believers, but really don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I just believe that if you do something wrong, there ought to be some type of conviction in your heart. You should no longer, my God, shout and still owe somebody forgiveness. You should no longer want to fall out, my God, and have fell all out, fallen out with your family. There should be something in you that convicts your heart. Want to live right. Want to live safe. Want to do the right thing. Or do I have one witness? The Bible said that Paul was grieved in his heart. Grieved in his soul, my God, because of the actions of this young lady. He turns around and cast the devil out of her, my God. And when he cast the devil out of her, my God, that the master saw that the hope of their gain was gone. They called Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace. And they begin to beat him and and my God and strip off their clothes and, and threw them into an inward prison uh, charging the jailer to keep them safely and my God and receiving such a charge thrust them into the inner prison uh, and made their feet fast in stocks uh, well Pastor Beecham tell me in uh, your last fleeting minutes tell me uh, how will doors come open when I'm locked up in a situation? How would God open 
doors for me, my God. Uh, when it seems like my mind is locked up, seems like my spirit is locked up, seems like I'm trying to go forward and cannot go forward. I'm trying to break loose out of a situation and can't break loose. Uh, have anybody ever been wrapped up in something, my God? Uh, you didn't want to tell nobody about it, my God, because it would interfere in your character. Uh, but some of us in here, we're in a locked up position our minds are locked up our souls are locked up you can't even praise God like you want to you can't even shout like you want to you can't even be faithful like you want to tell me Pastor Beecham how would God my God open doors when I'm in a prison myself trapped in my soul trapped in my heart trapped in my mind God how will you open doors won't you just grab your neighbor by the hand and shout neighbor how God's gonna do this thing how will God do this how how will God open up these doors I've been locked up for years locked up on my job locked up in my house locked up my God in my car how would God open these doors and if truth be told some of you locked up right now Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. You're dressed up but locked up at the same time. Clapping your hands, locked up. Singing, locked up. Shouting, locked up. God, how will you open the door? doors of my mind my God for the Bible says this is the vicar my God uh, look like I'm getting one amen from you the Bible says this therefore seeing him we have this ministry and uh, as we have received mercy we faint not we faint not my God uh, but we have renounced the hidden things um, of dishonesty walking in craftiness nor handling the word of God deceitfully and, uh, but verse number three said but if I gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world my God has blinded the minds of them that means there's a devil that runs in the land that tries his best to blind the minds in other words my God there's an enemy that runs around sister Miriam tried to lock up the minds my God you can be walking and your mind still locked up you can be walking and your mind still locked up you can be in church and your mind still locked up the purpose of having some church my God is not to have a good shouting time but to unlock some minds my God to unlock the people's souls to unlock the hearts of the God of this world his job is to bind the people the people minds here is Paul my God he's in a prison in a prison my God where the sewage runs in a prison my God where his hands are fastened his feet is locked up my God elder night one thing I like about this text even though Paul was a preacher even though Paul here was locked up sister Fisher the Bible says that Paul and his partner Silas prayed can I stay right there can I stay right there some of y'all ain't gonna like it but that's all right I preached to this side look like I'm getting any more amens over there sister Bowers y'all better see this in verse number 25 Paul and Silas put it back up the preach up now Paul and Silas oh good God almighty Paul and Silas you better cut that off my God Paul and Silas are you getting this sister Landrum Paul and Silas prayed I ain't got no witness that's all right now Paul and Silas prayed what I'm trying to get to you my God to your mind you better get locked up with somebody who love prayer you better get connected with people my God who don't mind praying see what's wrong with some of us we're connected with doubters we're connected with evil walkers you're connected with people who don't want to be connected with you but you better get connected to somebody who loves prayer. I ain't talking about somebody who loves a show. I'm not talking about somebody who wants my God just to be behind the mic. You got to get locked up with somebody who loves prayer. 
Paul and Silas my God, they start praying. Could you imagine this? Could you imagine the mindset? Sister Tarshay, could you imagine this? Sister Prophetess, my God. Could you imagine the mindset? My God. Here I'm a preacher, my God. And I just got beaten the clothes. My God, stripped off my body. And he's up in a jail. Good God Almighty. Could you imagine the mindset of the evidence of this preacher, my God, having whips on his back, my God, blood coming from his body, having to smell sewage from the prison. Now he's locked up Good God Almighty. Could you imagine the mindset of us? Uh, y'all ain't talking to me, my God. Uh, I've been in jail. Y'all ain't sending to me. Uh, and I've been there, my God. Uh, and when they closed those doors, uh, my mindset, we're baby and we're Vicky. Y'all ain't talking to me, my God. Uh, that was my mindset. Uh, but could you see uh, the mindset of this preacher? Uh, instead of calling somebody, uh, what was on his mind was, uh, let me get back to praying. Uh, I know I just got beaten my God but I'm not worried about the whips let me get back to praying I know I have some sewage around me I know I got some mess around me but I'm not worried about the mess let me get back to praying grab your neighbor hand and shout neighbor we better get back to praying stop worrying about the mess stop worrying about people stop worrying about folks stop worrying about your enemies and get back to prayer They started praying. They started praying. They started praying. They started praying. Because I'm going to show you, my God, what God does when he opened the doors. This is what he do, Brother Gary, my God, when he opened the doors. Number one, he releases. Oh, my God, praise. Somebody shout praise. He releases praise. See, you can't get God to open the door if you're not thankful. Oh, do I have one witness? Look like I got more amens over here. I'm going to stay on this side until that side catch up. My God, you can't get God to open no doors if you're not thankful. Oh, y'all ain't saying that to me. Good God Almighty. Mother brothers, I sure appreciate you, my God. She just about raised old poopy doop. Y'all ain't talking to me. She raised old poopy. Good God Almighty. Poopy got a great spirit. Y'all ain't saying that to me. About and Poopy always tell me thank you. I tell the church about him all the time. Oh my God, ain't faith Poopy always say thank you. I got a good old boy. Good God Almighty. If I buy him some Takis, he said thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Oh my, he different from Jason. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Y'all ain't saying that to me. Poopy always saying thank you. And my God, he stayed home with Queen and him. Thank you, Dad. Y'all ain't talking to me my god didn't come to thank you dad i dropped him off for football practice thank you dad everything my god you can't do nothing for pooping or he gonna tell you thank you good god almighty and one time uh, ain't my god ain't him i dropped him off my god he gave the store and he was saying thank you thank you thank you for the chip dad i didn't want to say that so the land i said man chips ain't then i just saved myself now you don't have to tell me thank you for that but he kept on saying thank you dad and I I kept on doing my stuff. He kept on saying thank you. I said, son, you're welcome. See, what happened was he kept on saying thank you until he pushed me to say something else. And that's what you got to do to God. You keep on telling God thank you until he opened his mouth again. You keep on telling God thank you until he give you another blessing. Keep on telling God thank you until he releases something else all over your life. Grab your neighbor hand and say, neighbor, though. Open your mouth and tell him thank you. When God opens doors, he releases praise. Now watch this now. Number two, when God opens doors, he releases providence. Somebody shout providence. He releases providence. Providence. It's what you call great shelter. A place of refuge. Now watch this now. I got to go, Brother John. Oh, good God Almighty. Come on, verse number 26. Verse 26. My God. Get this down. And suddenly there was a great 
earthquake. I was in um, California preaching. And um, one man told me, he said, did y'all feel an earthquake? I said, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel nothing. I didn't feel nothing. He said, yeah, we get them down here every so often. And uh, after he told me that, boy, I got all money. He said, Lord, please don't let this place shake. <laughs> let, let it shake after I leave. Don't let it shake now because I don't want to experience the earthquake. One pastor told me when he was in an earthquake in Mexico that the whole building just rocked. Whole building, the whole, you couldn't run nowhere because everything is moving. The ground is moving. The, everything moves. Could you imagine this earthquake? It was so great. It was so great that the foundations of the prison. Good God. Now, I want you to see this because the prisons back there wasn't made like the prison we have. Y'all ain't sending to me. All of us some big old bricks, my God, and, and mortal put together. But the providence of God is so great that God know how to shake things up without breaking it up. Oh, my God, he, he shook it so great that what he was shaking in it, he was protecting them at the same time. My God, have God ever done you like that? My God, he let you be in an earthquake, my God, or a car accident uh, in a club while they were shooting, my God, and bullets flew all by you, my God. I ain't got no witness, my God. Look at how good God is. Look at how God protected you from danger. Seen and unseen. I need about a hundred people to jump up and say, Lord, I thank you for protecting me. When I was in harm's way, you protected me. When I was in danger, you protected me. He protected them, Elder Gardner. While they was in prison. Yes, sir. Yes, he did. That the only thing. That was shifted. Was the doors. Came open. When the doors came open. Watch this now. Everyone bands was loose. When the doors become open. God releases a praise. He releases great providence. And also he releases great power. Somebody shout great power. great power. I want you to see my God because there's purpose why God released his power. Paul and him did not run out. They could have left the jail cell. They could have got out while the doors was open. But the purpose... What's much greater. Verse 27 says. And the prison. Keeper of the prisoner. Was awakened out of his sleep. And seeing the prison doors open. Drew out a sword. And would have killed himself. Supposing that the prisoners have been fled. Paul cried with a loud voice saying. Do thou self no harm. For we are all here. He called in for light. Sprang in and came down. Trembling and fell down. Before Paul and Silas. <clears throat> and brought them out and said. Sirs. What must I do to be saved? I want to close right there. Brothers and sisters. To, to let you know. My God. That when God opens the doors, he's going to open the people minds again. I believe, brothers and sisters, that we're going into a great revival. And I'm not talking about a revival that we put a flyer out and, and folks have a three-day service. But I'm talking about a great revival where people giving their lives back to the Lord. Do I have one witness? Paul was in jail, my God, not just because of, he got a beating from the, of the citizenship of that place. 
But Paul was in jail for a greater purpose. Grab somebody by the hand and shout neighbor. God has a greater purpose for your life. Once you get out of your seat and just go tell about three people and tell them. God has a greater purpose for your life. A greater purpose for your life. My time is over, but I want to tell Judah, I want to encourage our friends. There's a greater purpose that God has for you. Somebody needs to come out of the prison. Somebody need to come out of the cell. Do I have one witness? Somebody need to be saved and need to be delivered. And that's why I'm crying out to the Lord and saying, Lord, sin earthquake, sin earthquake. I'm not talking about a quake like that, but I'm talking about a quake in their mind, a quake in their spirit. Sometimes people, they won't give their life back to Christ until God sends a, a personal earthquake uh, until God sends uh, something in their life uh, will get them back on their knees uh, and back to praying out to the Lord uh, do I have one witness uh, I come to encourage y'all uh, that the Bible says uh, if I uh, be lifted up uh, I draw uh, all men uh, back to me uh, do I have one witness uh, praise him uh, while you have this chance uh, praise him uh, while you have this opportunity uh, praise him uh, until God sends a power uh, a power of deliverance uh, a power of healing uh, grab somebody uh, grab him by the hand uh, and shout our neighbor uh, God's gonna send a power uh, that will bring that relative out uh, God's gonna send his anointing uh, to destroy that yoke. Uh, say it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Keep on praising. Your praise is not in vain. Uh, keep on praising them uh, until God saved them. Uh, keep on praising them uh, until God bring them out. Uh, do I have one witness? Uh, God's gonna bring uh, that kinfolk out. Uh, do I have one witness? Uh, I gotta go, y'all. Uh, and God bless all of y'all. Uh, but I wanna encourage you uh, that doors uh, are about to open uh, in your life. Uh, do I have any witness over here? Uh, doors uh, are about to open uh, in your life. Uh, elbow your neighbor uh, and shout on neighbor. Uh, Shout on neighbor, the doors are about to open in your life. I can hear Pastor Benson preaching that. Be not deceived, God's not mock. Whatsoever, whatsoever a man saw it, that shall he also reap it. So you might as well start showing some praise. You might as well start showing some glory. You might as well start clapping your hands. You might as well lift up your voice. Yeah! Yes! Praise him, Judah! Praise him for the doors! Praise him! That God's gonna do it! Yeah! Yes! Hey! Sister Vicky, I'm so happy! I'm happy this morning. Happy this afternoon time now. Because I can feel it in my spirit. Somebody's coming out. Some Somebody's coming out. Lord, 
Somebody's going to get saved. God is not going to know and know your prayer. So you might as well. You might as well. Praise him. Because the earthquake is coming. The earthquake is coming. The earthquake is coming. And God is about to shake it. God's about to shake that. Shake that habit off. Shake that drug off. Shake that alcohol off. He's gonna shake it off. And when God shake him off, when God shake it off, who the sun set free, who the sun set free, he's free, free indeed. Grab your neighbor, grab him by the hand, and your neighbor, God's gonna do it. God's gonna see it. The earthquake, yeah, yeah. Shake it up, shake it up, Lord. Shake it up, Lord. Shake it up, shake it up until they come on back. Shake it up until they get healed. Shake it up until they get filled. Shake it up until they give their life back. Shake it up, Lord. Throw your hands up and say, Lord, Lord, do it again. Yeah. Hand. Grab the hand again and shout, neighbor, the prayers you've been praying. I hear the Lord saying, I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna do it for you. Shout to cut off. I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna do it for you. Keep on praying. He said to the other, Keep on praying. But I feel the Holy Ghost going into the minds. I feel the Holy Ghost uh, going in the spirit. Uh, I feel the Holy Ghost uh, going in the soul. Uh, taking out, uh, uh, taking out the envy. Uh, taking out the hurt. Uh, taking out the depression. Uh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, uh, have your way. Uh, To do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, above all. Now listen, I want you to do this, Mr. Paul. Of course, she had an abahashi. I want you to my soul to me. I want you to praise him in advance. Praise him in advance. As a prophet, I unlock that door. Devil, you a lie. I unlock that curse. My family gonna be blessed. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. My children are blessed. My sons are blessed. My daughters are blessed. 
I need about 15 people. When I count the three, you start shouting that and giving God praise. One, two, three, praise them.
saints. Hey! Come on, lift him up, lift him up. Lift him up, hold. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lift him up, how about you, Lift him up to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you,